Welcome to the humble abode of the Dragon Tamer. Here you will see the service that is the Dragon Maze. Let's get started. First we have three Kitchen Dragon Maid, main searcher of the deck, adds your monsters, sends, sends, sends what you need a graveyard, Basically get everything you need set up for your turns to come. And can't be Dragon May deck without their dragon forms, which we got two of. She's basically <laughs> is usually much more cooperative than this. What's the score? He does. Know how much you wanna touch snake, so. Who are you? Just pull off! <laughs> I don't know how those reptile tubers do it, but. Next off, triple nurse dragon maid. I see a lot of people run two. I think it's more of a three of card. She helps you come back from a lot of stuff on top of. She's a, usually one of your greater Heratix Fields targets just to set up your board back up. And we got three of her dragon form. With her being the only quick effect, well, other than Tinkek, which happens during battle, she is uh, another one of your best combo cards. Summons out any level 4 or level Dragon Maid monster. She'll be real good when we get Chamber Dragon Maid. Cannot wait for me for that. Next up, 3 Parlor. Unlike Kitchen Dragon Maid, she sends any Dragon Maid spell or trap card. So a lot of the time, your main target will be your Dragon Maid changeover. So that way, you can switch, you can add, uh, use changeover to add back and start doing your fusion plays. On top of two low par, she's basically a on your turn only effect veiler if you decide to do that. Which I can see why they did it. They don't want too many crazy hand traps going around, so. She's only fine at 2 for now, for having multiple targets for the level 3s. These are mostly 1 ofs. A lot of times you really don't want to pitch, but if she's the only thing you end up having, it's better to have a full graveyard than a dead, dead hand. And sh this card could be a good card too, depending on like the situation. Because he she basically works as a DD Crow that spins a card from the graveyard back to the deck. So say you're already some say your opponent's playing some like maybe like a grand module, just an example. You they summon the Orochi, you destroy it, use this to send it back to graveyard so that way they're just not summoning each turn. Tempest Dragon Ruler wins. We're working with a lot of wins, so he he and uh, Parlor and Lopar, they're good targets to send and add any dragon made you want, since you can search any dragon with this. Free summon on top of that. Tanker tops because we can still have them. <laughs> Double ash into uh, you know self-explanatory. Stop searches. Triple hospitality. Most of the time you want to use this for your maids to send the dragons to the grave, but there have been times where I would be stuck with the dragon form, so this would help out to summon the dragon form and send the maid and start going from there. So this is, and I see a lot of people put this at two, which I think is weird, because this is such a great card. Especially since it lets you spell summon from the hand or the graveyard. There have been times where this card saved, there, a lot of times that this card saved me when I would just have full on dragon form uh, hands. Triple call by the grave, because we don't like to get ash blossomed. Be gone, demon child! What did I do? What, no, what, no squawks this time around? No, like my rocket deck? <laughs> that freaking weird cat noise you made when I brought up Call by the Grave! <laughs> uh, two Dragon May send-offs. Uh, I believe these are the limited editions. Because I ordered them. Um, these are these end up being really good. If you have cards that are about to be destroyed or targeted or anything like that, you can bounce back your Dragon Maid, summon another one. They gain, uh, they gain protection for up till the next turn. They can't be destroyed by Battle by Card Effects. So these uh, work out good with tagging out to protect your field or to have extra pops with your house dragon maid. 
double changeover and double super poly. As you can see with the super poly and pinker tops, I had this as a going second deck mostly, but pinker tops got hit, which I can understand why, but it's sad to say he's back to one. But hey, you can still go second with this deck. And this is mostly going second with this deck, especially with how much it storms the field and all the beat sticks you can get on here. Especially with all the super poly targets I run, you'll see right now in a bit. Double World Legacy Guard Dragon, being the Dragon deck, self-explanatory. A lot of times you're going to want to bring back your nurse, and get the extra summons by bringing back laundry, parlor, kitchen, just to get the all out, just to build up your field again. One, we can have nice things. One Dragon Maid Welcome. I can possibly see this going to two with, cham with Chamber, but this is still a good card as a going one. It buffs your monsters on top of that. Once per turn, if you control two or more Dragon Maid monsters, you can keep adding a Dragon Maid card from your graveyard back to your hand. So this is a, this gives you good recyclability if you have board state. And if this is, if this ends up getting sent to grave, all your uh, Dragon Maids cannot, uh, I believe they cannot be targeted for the turn. Cannot be targeted for the turn, yes. Then I got two downtime. I thought three was a bit much, so I, pu I pushed it down to two. When uh, my deck frees up when around May, when Eternity Code, when I get the new Dragon Maid monster and the Chamber Dragon Maid, and I switch up my deck around, I want to see if I can also try and get impermanences here for extra negations, but for now I just have the downtime. Uh, helps uh, remove back row that gets annoying and gets you searches if you have an overabundance of maids. Undo the extra deck. Two Hieratic Spheres. This will at times help you with, uh, like I said before, my Rocket Deck profile helps you with a lot of problematic monsters, non negate spinning back, on top of, like I said, bring, bringing back Nurse just to fill your field back up again on your opponent's turn. Because this whole deck just revolves around being disruption after disruption after disruption, especially with something like House Dragon Maid where she'll just pop a monster on your field when you when you're tagging in and out your dragons. Nightmare package of of uh, Phoenix and Unicorn. They mostly help me out in dealing with back row if someone's having a heavy back row deck. I have a lot of rank I have a lot of level seven so I incorporated a rank seven engine. Draco Sack, same thing with him. He can either help me pop back row or the tokens help me easily bring out Nightmare and Unicorn. Number 11, Big Eye, which I'm thankful for uh, the collector here giving me a copy right now because mine's stuck in the mail somewhere and almost like half a week late. So I'm trying to get that sorted out. But Big Eye can take problematic monsters that can't be destroyed. He helps out when you're when you take your opponent's Boral Sword, maybe their Dengue Suit, anything else that gives you any problems. And number 76, Harmonizer Gradiel. She helps out with a lot of graveyard stuff. Like the like I said before with the example of Gizmic Orochi. You're say you're trying to attack your opponent just to get some big damage on. They try to summon Orochi, activate her in response. Just absorb Orochi into her as a material, basically make him banish eight for nothing. On top of that, she has a continuous effect where any cards that are that are her materials, she counts as their attribute as well, and she cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects by those attributes. So say you know she's already light, Gizmak would be a dark and most likely Ernest since I have multiples of her. Earth, so she can't be destroyed by battle by light, dark, earth monsters. But on top of that, I do gotta watch out when they use super poly on her, because then she would also be considered as a dark. But she's a nice, fun little card to have. And then right here, I just have an overabundance of super poly targets. My Dragon of the Swamp has helped me out for uh, stuff like Salamangrates, Gladiator Beasts, and other, uh, well, not really, uh, not really Salamangrate, but um, mostly Glad Beasts, because I believe they're all Earth attribute, with being Beast, Beast Warrior, and Wing Beast. Multiple, well, these guys, you know, all Darks, Trivertrum's a good 
Black Horn of Heaven for the Inherent Summoning. Main uh, Dark Super Poly Target. And then if they have Fusions, Drago Stapelia. He helps with negating cards when he places the Predaplan counters on them. And the main star of the extra deck, Triple House Dragon Maid. And hopefully soon, her Dragon Form. When dragons, when dragon, well, here's the thing. She doesn't just say Dragon Maid, she says any dragon. So if there's anything, if there's a, for all of you who know that hero play of mass changing out, absolute zero for acid to board wipe, she could basically do the same thing if you uh, wing beat a giant dragon, a high level dragon, pop the whole back row, then she'll start popping monsters. It's not to the extent that zero and acid do it, but hey, it's a nice little combo that can work out too. I'm trying to figure out room for wing beat and red MD and all that. But hopefully come around May when Eternity Co. comes out. That'll be a fun little thing that I can try and experiment on. Experiment on so leave... What, what, what do you say is an average of your li of the videos that get likes? 30, 40. 30, 40? Yeah. So say about what? 40, 50? To see a update video come Eternity Code when I get Chamber and Chamber Dragon Mage and uh, Dragon Mage Troll. So hopefully you like the deck video so far. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so that way you can figure out the next time Team Forbidden uploads and have a nice night.